Hello, it is the 20th of July, 2011, and uh, since my last broadcast, which was four hours ago, it's two o'clock right now, Eastern New York time, and well, we've seen the market come back and barely make a higher low, however, still making a higher low and now retreating up towards this level. I'll really shorten out this time frame and when we're looking at this move, the Fibonacci from this high to this low is right perfectly snapped on this line. It was about a 10 cent push higher. Therefore, Fibonacci resistance has been found. We're at the point now where we need to find out that is this selling that has occurred since yesterday a failure or a success. A success would make this turn into a bear market or at least correct neutral through time. A failure would continue the pattern of higher highs and higher lows. Now within this, if we take a look here, we say, you know what, maybe we're going to pull back. We've came up to this resistance and went f uh, further below. And if you look at this, you may want to shorten out the time horizon. This is the intraday levels. So with the Fibonacci at right here, right in here, this is where the Fibonacci worked out to 80 cents. It got up to 90. Okay, so we had two hits within here, pulled back, back to this level again. Since I've done this video, it's pulled back to 39.66. Oh, excuse me, since I've made this chart, which was at uh, 144, it says here, the market pulled back to 66 and is now at 72. Therefore, this is a type of pattern that you're looking for for that uh, confirmation break because within technical analysis, when you have a 61.8% must hold level and it doesn't hold, then that's where you get the confirmation. So we'll go back now to the previous chart. When you have confirmation that this failure above 80 is that of a failure, then the next move is up to this high and it hits very often. It usually at least hits, but given the pattern, oftentimes it makes the uh, higher highs and higher lows. Thus, you get some sort of high within this level and the big level's up at 42. 42 is that uh, monstrous level. So therefore, there is a confirmation above this level because the significant level that needs to hold is the 38 tannish area, which is right in towards here. So therefore, it's now held above this level since the 14th or so of July. So it's been holding above it for a week. It's managed to come back to this level and then a huge breakout point in here. If you want to be even more safe, then you might want to wait for the big $42 confirmation of the big chart. And within this chart, we uh, have that level roughly at around 42. That's the uh, Fibonacci from the highs in here and the lows towards here. A confirmation break above this tells us that we're going back to 50 again. That's a confirmation hold above. I do like the chances, however, of the most likely scenario being that we will find a, a level of resistance here at 42-ish, 42.20 to 42.50. That doesn't mean it will happen, but when you have a level of resistance, that can oftentimes mean that all you're going to do is retrace 38.2% from this low to the $42 highs and then maybe once again come back down to this 38 level. And that's again a maybe because we've already established this higher low. If it comes up to 42, the next higher low might be at 39. And then it just continues the trend towards the upside. It's very difficult yet to determine. On a long-term time frame, things can get really easy as far as understanding how the uh, fundamentals for the uh, physical silver is going to be in comparison of uh, fiat paper notes. If you are not sure about what I mean when I say physical silver versus fiat notes, I would 
highly recommend uh, videos like Money as Debt, uh, Zeitgeist, Federal Reserve, I think uh, other good ones out there. You have uh, oh, Conspiracy Theory with Jesse Ventura on Wall Street. That explains things uh, fairly well to the dangers right now associated with fiat dollars. When you're looking at these technicals, a lot of times you're trying to uh, point out good buy signals. And there's, there's many different strategies to use. If you're buying on weakness, you're waiting for pullbacks, you've had an eternity to hit this pullback. And you might even start in here. Okay, so if you started there, is this a successful bottom call? If, of course, the market goes well past 50. To me, the answer is yes. Could you have gotten more? Did you get more? Well, that's a different story. For example, if this was the bottom, or if this is going to be the bottom at 32.32, and you buy at 32.60, you pretty much bought exactly at the bottom, basically. Anywhere in here would be that situation. For when the market went from 21 down to 8, if you bought at 15, thinking that it was down too much, and you've seen it go all the way down to 9, and now it's at 39 and change, well, you did fairly well. Thank you for watching, and have yourself a magnificent day. Bye-bye.